Um, I'm. This is kind of weird. Uh, has anyone seen Neil or Owen? <laughs> they were supposed to be here and closing session, and well, all of you are standing here, so. I didn't really plan anything. I mean, Let's I go do. surfing now. Everybody's learning now. Come on a safari with me. Early in the morning, we'll be starting now. Some honeys will be coming along. We're loading up our woody with our boards inside and heading out singing our song. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Oh, and, uh, how did I do? It was pretty good for a Seppo. We call you guys Seppos. Um, but I think next time you kind of want to put the fins downside, not kind of facing. Downside? Up. No. Yeah, like That's underneath you. you. You might be a bit sore. Yeah? yeah definitely. <laughs> Do we miss anything? We've been you know, just hanging out at the beach today. It was a lot of fun. Holy moly. All right. Um, what were you guys doing for the last couple of days? <laughs> <laughs> well, the beach has been good. All right. So, what are we doing? I think we're uh, wrapping things up. Two yeah. good days. Everyone, everyone had a good time? Yeah. yeah. This, how many people are in from Australia? All right. Is this like the most beautiful place you've ever seen? Pretty darn close, yeah. the most beautiful place I've ever seen. You should see it when the weather's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, everybody. Um, that's Owen. That's Neil. Thank you. Thank Very you. Much. We, we've kind of felt a little bit like Abbott and Costello for the last uh, six months or so. So I'm Tied at the hip yeah. and you know, on phone calls for, you know, Owen's just waking up, I'm just going to bed, but work to be done so um, it's been a good what six eight months of back and forth yep. and man it was just yep. a, a pleasure uh, putting yep. this event on so we've got a bunch of information for you guys a little bit about what's been going on this week some of the work we put into making this event happen and uh, a little bit of the financials and some fun stats for you so let's jump on in all right so I think we just did how's it going I think we yeah. did that means uh did you have a nice time <laughs> All right, so this is you, Neil. All right, so uh, let's see. Um, all you guys, uh, well, a lot of you guys went and attended sessions. A few of you stayed up in the Coder Lounge since you got here. Some of you guys were in the bar when I got here, and I just saw you running in. But there for those that went to sessions, if you would, take a few moments. Um, go to the URL up above and um, evaluate your sessions. Let us know how they were so we know who you want to see back and who you don't. Um, we've been through this a few times, and mostly, uh, we've got a pretty great roster of speakers. Hopefully, you guys found the same. Is that is that a fair statement? Yeah. yeah? All right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so, some things coming up um, tonight. Uh, are you guys familiar with our trivia night? No. All right. So, we're doing trivia night. It's going to be at the Beach Palace Hotel, which is about a block and a half. Uh, is that about right? Yes. Yeah, about a block and a half down the road. Uh, we're going to kick off at 9 o'clock. Please be there a little bit beforehand. Big oh. blue and white dome. Indeed. Yeah. Do we have a question from the audience? It's, uh, north, which is... Does that help? That way. Left. Yeah. Yeah. Opposite end of the beach. Yeah. yeah. And Go it's down. in the aquarium room in the beach palace. It's quite big. Yeah. You can't really miss it. It's a big uh, blue and white dome, as Owen said. Um, it's about a block, block and a half down to the left. And um, it's not your typical trivia night of what was the name of Springsteen's first album. Um, it's all a little bit more relative to what we're doing here. Uh, no, unless he was a Drupal dev. <laughs> 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 but it's a great way to kind of get a table together, get some new people, uh, get to meet everyone, and uh, just hang out and, and wrap things up. Yeah, by all means. And Stephanie has taken it upon herself to make sure that there is a really bizarre prize of some sort at the end. So. We've set her free. I take no responsibility for what she comes up with. But don't stay out too late tonight because tomorrow... Tomorrow is our traditional contribution sprint. Um, are you a coder? Come, help us fix some bugs, uh, help them contribute. If you're not a coder, shoot, you can work on documentation. There's all sorts of great things that you can do. And if you've never done anything like this before, we have a great community workshop that'll be going on. I think it's in the Bronte room. Um, downstairs where we'll teach you how do you contribute to um, how do you contribute in a code sprint 
So it's a great opportunity for everybody. You don't have to know what you're doing. We'll help you out. And if you know what you're doing, we'd really appreciate your help. So we're planning for you know a good 25% uh, of you typically stick around. Please do. And if more of you will, that would be even better. Yep. Free lunch. <laughs> All right, uh, so there is an overall event survey as uh, you guys, uh, you know, you've been here now, right? You've seen what we're doing. Let us know. What did you like? What didn't you like? Um, kind of like the, uh, the speakers and the sessions. Uh, let us know how to improve our event. We can't do it without your feedback. Otherwise, just get this again. So let's do it. All right, and uh, one last note for me. Um, as uh, you guys know, uh, I'm the director of events for the Drupal Association. This is what I do all year round um, is work on Drupal cons. Um, as such, I want to remind you guys that um, one of the ways that we pay for DrupalCons is through your support. So if you'd be kind enough to join the Drupal Association, uh, get one of those cool blue stickers on your badge, get um, a cool web badge for, uh, for your profile page. Right? There's all sorts of wonderful benefits that come along, and really what you do is you help support and fund our project, um, and it's your project. So if you would, if you haven't already, please join the Drupal Association. Um, we're kind of hidden here, but obviously ADO slash membership, and uh, you'll be off and running in no time. There is a link from the front page. And it's only 30 American dollars. And, only 30 American dollars. and I will beat you with this if you don't become a member. And he will beat you with that. <laughs> it was not an accident that we gave Morton a surfboard. <laughs> and you should use the pointy end when you beat people. Right. Owen, tell them some important stuff about what happened here this week. Well, this is kind of fun stuff. So uh, I think one of the, uh, the great things about a DrupalCon is we try and break a venue in terms of uh, records for things that they've done. Uh, so the first thing that we have is our use of the internet. And I do want to thank everyone for staying on their 3G devices. Um, if they did, it did save us in, in terms of bandwidth. And we didn't necessarily break any records, but you can see that we had uh, a significant amount of traffic throughout the, uh, the last couple of days there. Hey, you, you should introduce him to Doug. Yeah, so um, you would have seen this very handsome man walking around uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, this is Doug Robertson, who is the head of IT here. And he put all the new infrastructure in and uh, was on the phone to Telstra until the 11th hour. And uh, you probably saw this guy walking out uh, <laughs> <laughs> about half an hour ago. So uh, Doug really kind of went to the, the uh, 11th level for us. So, yeah, uh, poor Doug. It is uh, no lie whatsoever that the internet actually came on at 8.30 Tuesday morning. Um, we were on the phone constantly working with, what's that company called, Telstra? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, um, for those of us from the States, it's kind of like working with AT&T and getting your cable modem back up and running, but a much bigger deal because there's a lot more government politics involved. Doug was phenomenal, diligent, worked as hard as he possibly could, and from what I've seen, the internet was never out for more than a moment or two for a router or a, um, an access point to reset itself, so if you happen to see Doug in the rest of the time that you're here, please give him a pat on the back and show him a little extra love. Uh, so just in terms of you guys, so uh, everyone put their hand up before, in terms of stats for people that attended, uh, we were expecting about 80% local attendees and that's what happened. And then you can see the interesting breakdown of the international attendees there. And I was trying to kind of pick who might have been the person that came the furthest. Uh, there was someone who came from Stockholm. Uh, anyone come further than Stockholm? Who had more than a 30-hour flight? It yeah? felt like more than 30 hours. <laughs> so um, I think this was a, a great example of um, being able to invite all of our international visitors here, show them a great time, and, uh, and also for everyone locally to experience uh, an event that's on par with what you'd experience overseas. So then in terms of all the stuff that you ate and drank, uh, we did go through 500 litres of coffee and uh, a lot of other food there. And I think the 25 pineapples, I'm not sure what people are doing with 25 pineapples. Let's just leave that out. You were saying something about it being Let's a market. Let's just leave that out. Right, right. <laughs> so um, that's what we went through. And then in terms of dollars, this is uh, the interesting part. So we're an uh, uh, it's an open source event. It's a non-profit organization behind it, and we're very uh, transparent with all the, the money that's gone into yeah. the event and out of it. Absolutely. So we do like to talk about the money. Um, a lot of people spent a lot of money to get here. Um, the uh, the sponsors obviously spent a, um, a a considerable amount of money to uh, to help us. And one of the things that's really important, and we'll mention again um, in a couple of slides, is without the support of our sponsors, this is a thousand dollar ticket. 
So we want to offer just a, a lot of love, um, and we'll go through them again, but a, an awful lot of love to our sponsors for making it a reasonably priced ticket um, and bringing it in. Yeah. All right, so oh, let's go back one. All right, so um, to talk about where the money came from, basically, there's a couple of different things. One was general conference registration. We actually blew away our expectations. Our expectations were around $99,000. Um, and as you can see, we came in approximately 123, and these numbers are actually a little bit older uh, than what's today. So, um, um, so uh, and by the way, all these numbers are pretty good estimates, but they are not final by any means. Anyway, um, so please, if you recognize, uh, $123,000 brought in through registration, sponsorship, um, as you can see, about the same amount, and uh, trainings. Um, uh, we offered three trainings in the beginning, and it turned out that only one of them uh, really took off as well as we'd hoped for. So uh, we give a lot of kudos to the uh, people who did the um, plan, build, launch, uh, uh, Drupal track, um, brought in $15,000. Um, and our business day, of course, as well, brought in about 9000 maybe a little bit less. Um, so that's where the money came in from, and then you'll ask yourself, what did we do with it? Uh, I won't read through all of these, but um, this is a pretty wonderful venue, uh, and it was actually fairly reasonable for the venue itself. Uh, as anybody who's not from Australia will say, um, food cost a lot, a lot. Um, McDonald's was like my weekly salary. Uh, so, no offense, Holly. <coughs> um, so uh, an awful lot of our money went into catering. It's uh, um, pretty much our, our biggest bill. Um, the internet, we were charged um, by bandwidth, and obviously we don't have a final number yet because we're not done. We've got a great contribution sprint tomorrow, but we estimate, you know, approximately $12,000. Your breakdown's right there. You can see where it went. So the question is, is uh, for the first DrupalCon in the Southern Hemisphere, what exactly does this really mean? Well, total revenue at 275, total expenses approximately 209. We're able to contribute back. 60, approximately 66,000 Australian dollars to the Drupal project. And we thank you all. <laughs> and for us in Australia, this is a, a really important contribution. Uh, we've obviously run Drupal camps locally before and it's very hard for us to transfer that money back to the Drupal Association without lots of tax implications. And I think personally, and I'm speaking on behalf of the community here, to see that money go directly back to the Drupal Association to, to grow the perception of Drupal around the world and the community support is, uh, is something that I'm personally very proud of and uh, everyone that contributed to the event should be very proud of too. Um, so where does that money go? You tell me, Owen. All right, so um, anyone ever visited Drupal.org? Yeah? So, Never heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> Just to put it in context of uh, running Drupal.org, it gets 21 million unique visitors per month, which is the population of Australia, more or less. <laughs> um, and if you put Drupal.org in Australia, I would uh, put some money that it would be by far the biggest website <laughs> uh, that's hosted in Australia. Obviously, it's not. Um, and in terms of the, the members that it services, there's 932,865 members as of late today, and that's growing at about, I don't know, a thousand a month. Um, and uh, then the developers that run through that too, we've got almost 23,000 of them, and the contribution that they make through Drupal.org is immense, so 20,000 plus modules, and even this week there was three and a half thousand code commits. And I think uh, to consider that Drupal.org is the, the hub of collaboration for everyone here outside of these events, is a, a vitally important thing, and anyone that knows about web hosting, hosting something that big is a considerable um, undertaking. And where else it goes, um, Drupal events uh, like Drupal cons and uh, code sprints and, and uh, global training days, yeah. those types of things. Uh, scholarships, so to bring people uh, into the Drupal community who, who don't have the means necessarily to do so, and we had some scholarships here. Um, Community cultivation grants, so if someone's got a great idea about uh, how we can grow the community, then the Drupal Association will consider funding that. And then finally, the thing to, to mention is the Drupal Association is responsible for the legal protection of Drupal as an open source product. So if some dastardly person tries to uh, commercialize it and, and make money off it, then the Drupal Association will step in. So um, that's where the money goes. And in terms of more events this year, you want to fill us in, Neil? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we go from, uh, as, uh, if you guys were in the keynote this morning, we go from this amazing 
height of summer, beautiful beach uh, in Sydney, we're going to go to rainy, cloudy, kind of Portland, um, which is always fun, and, and it has its own charm. That's only 300 days a year. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 320, I think. Um, uh, but we're going to go to Portland. Our theme is uh, building bridges and connecting communities. It's going to be um, the first event, actually, of its kind, because we're partnering with two other really fantastic events. We're partnering with the Web Visions people, and we're partnering with uh, Symphony Live, uh, which Dries talked about in yesterday's keynote, the importance of Symphony to the Drupal project. Um, we've done something very unique. Uh, we're all in the same building, and if you would like to come to all three conferences and enjoy the benefits of all three, it only costs you $100 more than what a DrupalCon registration is. And that's a pretty awesome deal. That's well, uh, that's probably over 200 sessions that you'll have access to. So we really encourage people to come on out to Portland. Uh, I personally um, uh, recommend that if you're interested in coming to Portland that you sign up quickly. One of the reasons being is we're actually quickly running out of hotel rooms. Uh, if you're coming for the Core Nights, the Doubletree, which is our headquarter hotel, can handle um, a, a bunch more, but not too many. Uh, if you're staying on any of the shoulder nights, we're over to the Marriott Hotel, which is also fantastic, but um, you know it's a little bit of ways away, and the longer you wait, the further you're going to kind of get from where all the action is happening. So it's not a deterrent to not come at a later date, just a little encouragement. If you'd like to join us, by all means, please do, and, and no need to hesitate. Besides, you want to beat the price bump, right? So um, make sure that you go online, and you can register now. And in September, um, I've mentioned kind of the beauty of Australia um, several times because I'm blown away by it. Um, there's another type of beauty, which is the old European beauty, and I'm really, really excited to go see DrupalCon Prague. So we're in September, we're going to be out there, and we're building that program now. There'll be a lot more details at, of course, prague2013.drupal.org. We recommend that you keep your eye on it, check it out, and um, I'm sure that you're already subscribed to all of our mail lists. But by all means, uh, DrupalCon Prague is going to be uh, the other type of beauty and a little larger than what we're doing here, probably um, around 1,500, 2,000 people, somewhere around that range. And uh, you'll make a lot of new friends and see a really, really interesting and gorgeous place. And if there's anyone local who hasn't been to a, a, a Northern Hemisphere DrupalCon, they are an amazing experience. It's this, but six times bigger in the case of the USA. And it's, uh, um, it's a fantastic opportunity to have a, a nice holiday on the side of it. So I think I've based my vacations around uh, going to DrupalCons for the last few years. <laughs> As do I. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just talking about some local events that are coming up uh, over the next year as well. And uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention is that Canberra is stepping up to run a Drupal Gov um, camp. Uh, and that'll be running mid-year. And that'll be an opportunity to come together and uh, to talk about what impact Drupal's ha ha having in, uh, in government. And uh, the big question is what's happening with this event next year? So I think the important thing to point out is that this being a DrupalCon as a floating event, the likelihood that it'll come back to this region quickly um, is relatively low. Um, and I think the opportunity for the Drupal Association is to look at other emerging regions and to, to put some uh, attention into those. Um, but we're not going to uh, halt the consistency of having a Drupal Down Under or a Drupal South event uh, in this region. We think it's really important to keep that momentum for the, the local community. And uh, unfortunately, Josh Wahi, who uh, was going to announce the next event, had to jump on a plane back to Wellington. So uh, the next event will be Drupal South in Wellington. Uh, we've had Drupal Down Under in Australia for the last three years or two years, three years if we include this one. And uh, prior to that, there was uh, two Drupal South events over in New Zealand. And I think uh, on behalf of Australians, uh, we should pull our fingers out and uh, jump across <laughs> the, the ditch to Wellington and support that event. So there'll be more information about that up on that website there in coming weeks uh, as the, uh, the details of the event come together. And finally, I just wanted to mention that you've got a great opportunity following this event to get involved with your local Drupal meetup. Most Australian and New Zealand cities have a, a strong Drupal community now and they all meet on a monthly basis. So um, to keep the enthusiasm and, and uh, the connections that you've made at this event going, definitely get involved with your local meetup if you haven't been doing that already. So we're going to move on to thank yous. Thank yous. <laughs> Uh, I'm learning the uh, dialect as I go along here. The, uh, the international visitors might have picked up that this is Australianisms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we mentioned uh, just a, a few slides ago that uh, the importance of our sponsors. And 
Um, you know, this isn't your traditional um, trade show where people are coming and they're walking through exhibits. And sometimes they don't see a lot of people, uh, and sometimes they do, but they always take the chance and they, um, they help fund us so that we can offer a reasonable ticket. So there's lots of different companies that uh, we'd like to thank um, instead of listing them all because uh, we have limited time. Um, just want to make sure that you see their logos one more time and really encourage you to visit their websites and stop by and show them a little extra love by the next time that you run across them. So thanks to all of you guys. Now, if you work for a company that hasn't sponsored a DrupalCon before, there's lots and lots of different levels. You don't have to spend dramatic amounts of money, although we certainly appreciate when you do. Uh, but there is a package for almost any size organization to uh, give back to their community and help us out. So we thank you all very, very kindly for doing that. Um, and there's also some folks that we'd like to thank as well, um, along with the financial contributions of the sponsors. Anybody who volunteers for a DrupalCon is a body I didn't have to pay to come and take money out of the, um, out of the project. So we'd like to go ahead and uh, thank some of our local sponsors. Owen? Yeah, so in terms of how we structured organizing this event, we had uh, a local team and then uh, we interfaced with the, the Drupal Association team to, to bring it together. Um, so can everyone that volunteered locally just stand up so that we can see you? And there's gonna be a lot of you, so please stand up if you are volunteering in, in any capacity. I'm sure there's more than that. There's a lot more names on here than that. A Anyone that was a room that. monitor? And in terms of the roles that uh, everyone fulfilled locally, uh, I think the important thing to, to note is that all of the, uh, the session organisation and the selection of uh, sessions was done primarily by the local team interfacing with some glo global leads. Uh, the website was built totally locally um, and uh, there was an enormous amount of effort going into that to uh, release it on COD7, which is conference organising distribution. And uh, I think Robert, who put uh, a lot of the work in there, rebuilt the site about three times to get it working on the beta. So uh, thank you for all the effort that went into that. And uh, definitely to the, the track chairs as well, I think uh, everyone can agree that the, the content of this uh, event was uh, unparalleled. It was an amazing learning experience for everyone. And uh, the local track chairs, they worked with the, uh, the global leads to ensure that the quality of the sessions that you saw today uh, is of a world-class standard. And uh, the other thing worth mentioning is that coordinating all of the volunteers was a, a huge task that uh, Magda took on. And a huge thank you to Magda for that. Um, And getting the word out via social media, manning the help desk online, um, looking at all the student ticket applications and scholarship applications, um, just general planning assistance and uh, of course the business day that uh, ended up being an amazing success. Thank you Zena for that. Uh, the people Oops. that manned the registration desk, a lot of them paid for their ticket and gave up their time uh, throughout the day regardless. And um, it's a big undertaking to come to an event and to, to sit there on a desk for uh, while great sessions are going on. And then the room monitors as well, they might have been stuck in a room where they weren't necessarily that interested in a session, but uh, uh, by volunteering they did that. And I'd like to specifically thank uh, the people that came as scholarship recipients who put some time in uh, to help us out with that as well. And uh, then finally, I'd like to um, extend an enormous thank you to the Drupal Association. Uh, so Neil and uh, the rest of the team, Stephanie, who uh, was manning the desk the whole time here, um, Holly, who just joined us and, and played an integral role throughout the event, and then the team behind the scenes uh, back in Portland, um, Megan's living in Arizona, we had uh, a few people around the country there, and uh, the Drupal Association helped us out with all of the financials and logistics and marketing, uh, and uh, we ended up spending about six months working together on that. So huge round of applause and, and thank you for the Drupal Association for being. So uh, there's obviously a, um, you know, quite a few people that were you know, really integral to this event, not that any one person was um, any more important to any other, but if you all wouldn't mind just kind of turning your head just a little bit to the back of the room that way. That young lady is Stephanie El Hajj, who is my right hand. Um, she handled COD, she handled content, working with a lot of uh, local people as well. But she worked tremendous hours. 
Um, because she dealt with the cod headaches, my therapist was much, much happier that we could talk about something else for a while. <laughs> and um, really just a, a tremendous uh, thank you, um, specifically to Stephanie, uh, Magda as well, for working with all the volunteer contribution. Not that they're any more important than anybody else, but people who are specifically near and dear to me, and I thank you both. <laughs> all right. So outside of the uh, association and Magda, um, there were definitely some people who really stood out. Um, if anybody was impressed with how quickly session content got up on the internet, I know I was. Um, we have a, a couple, uh, Ryan is Hungry, that's Jay and Ryan, um, that you may have seen running around through the show. Um, they worked incredibly diligently. They flew from the backwoods of Virginia. I think it's okay to say that, um, the backwoods of Virginia um, to come out and uh, handle all the stuff and um, really nobody does session archiving as well as they do to get it up on the internet quite so quickly. So we certainly thank them. At the Crown Plaza, we had some wonderful support. Um, Jay Petri, David Valentine, and as we've mentioned, poor Uncle Fester, Doug Robertson, um, who did just amazing jobs in helping us get things organized and paid attention to us and made us all feel special. Um, there is one other gentleman who was just a true pleasure, a local guy um, to work with, uh, which was um, Lee Olson. Um, if you think everything looked great, it was Lee. Stand um, up, Lee. Lee, stand up. <laughs> we came to Lee with bizarre requests, such as, hey, Lee, I don't have a graphic design firm for um, the Prague event. Could you help me? Sure, Neil, we could do that, no problem. Um, and Lee designed posters for them, so uh, we certainly thank Lee for his great attitude. Uh, our printers over at uh, Marsh Media, and um, I made a new friend with uh, Tim Miller, our photographer, who we've been jabbing back and forth at each other with good humor, so thank you, Tim. All right. Um, speakers, uh, we had over 50 sessions here. There's just too many of them to name individually, but uh, as I think we've written a few times, um, they're the reason that people come, or at least the reason that people give to their bosses to get justification to come to a conference. So we thank all of our speakers uh, for the great content that they offered. We know how much work it takes to put together a presentation. We know that we pushed you guys to meet deadlines and show us that you're really working on this before you get on the airplane. Um, and we thank all of you folks. And of course, um, our keynotes, um, Dries, uh, you know, gee, I'm not employed without him, so I particularly appreciate him. I don't think any of us are employed without him. I think that's a fair <laughs> say. <laughs> I'm concerned about my refrigerator, so I thank you, Dries. And uh, obviously, Kate Lundy this morning, uh, you all saw what she was going through last night and how late she was on the media, and uh, that she came in this morning so calm, cool, collected, a good sense of humor. Let us uh, rib her a little bit about the, um, about the cricket match, where I was awesome, by the way. Um, you were awesome. It's not uh, baseball, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it obviously not, as I was ribbed mercilessly last night. Um, but they were all fantastic, and uh, we certainly appreciate them. It's always great to have a Dries note, and somebody is uh, notable as uh, Senator Lundy. And of course, uh, what's the point of this? Well, not you guys. Um, so a lot of you guys made really long journeys. We, obviously, we thank you so much. Uh, I don't know who came for this. My flight was about uh, 18 hours or so. Um, I know people came from twice that far. So we thank all of you guys for coming out. Um, you're what makes it worthwhile. You're what makes the project run. And uh, we thank you so, so mm. tremendously much. And I'd like to second that. I think uh, you would have seen us running around busy, but at no point, I think, were we really stressed or, or worried about anything. Nah. And it's been a true delight to, to put this event on for you. And you're an amazing community of people. So thank you. I would uh, just extend one last to um, Owen, uh, my partner. Um, Owen didn't get paid. I did. Uh, and Owen, I thank you so very much. Total pleasure, man. Total pleasure. All right. So this has been fantastic. But we're not done yet. Oh, and tell them what's coming up. All right, so we're just repeating ourselves, but hey, trivia night will be great fun. We've got Eaton hosting, and uh, it's just going to be a, a great way to wrap up the event, um, meet new people, and uh, have a few nice drinks together. Absolutely. And uh, again, just reminding you that the, the contribution sprint and, and sprint workshop tomorrow is the best way that you can contribute back to Drupal in terms of, of raw code and documentation. And uh, for you to have the, uh, the sense of achievement of actually contributing to Drupal 8 itself. And uh, I think having the, the sense of building something together is, is something that you're not really going to get uh, in many other parts of society. So uh, like Dre said in his keynote, it's, it's about being able to do great work together. So I uh, definitely make the effort to come to that. So that is the end. Thank you all so very much. We really appreciate you being here. We're going to see you tonight.
We're going to play some trivia. We're going to get a couple of drinks. And we'll see you tomorrow at the Coach Sprint. Thank you. Serving with me, come on along, serving, baby, wait and see.